Oh my God, oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> oh God, hallelujah, God. I'm just so excited, God. Hey, shout out to the side. Oh, glory to God. Y'all, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. We shall rejoice. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. You should just rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Regardless of the problems, regardless of the issues, regardless of the situation. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Y'all, I'm so overwhelmed right now with the joy of the Lord upon my heart. Y'all, this is... oh. Ah, yeah, Moshai. To get up this morning with joy in my heart for Jesus. Joy, not depression. Not waiting in my mind the issues of today and the tomorrow. But just the joy of the Lord being upon my heart. He is my strength on today. Hallelujah. Y'all, it is a wonderful feeling to get up with all the dismay and all the disarray that's going on around us right now. I can say, God, I thank you for peace. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for peace this morning. Y'all, thank God for peace, for having your right mind. For having your right mind because so many people are losing their minds. So this morning, I want to do a prayer before I... Lord God, oh God, we thank you this morning, God, for being such a great God. We thank you, Lord, this morning, God, for opening our eyes and opening our ears, God, so that we can yet see and hear again, God. We thank you, Lord, for opening our mouths that we may speak your praises. We may shout your praises, God. We may shout hallelujah, the highest praise, God, unto your name, God. We thank you, Lord God, for being such a mighty God as you are, God, who will love us regardless of our situations, God, regardless of the sin that we have committed, God, regardless of the places that we've been, God, that have not glorified your name, God. But, Lord God, you still love us, God, because you are such a loving God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, you are unconditional love. You have Unconditional love for us, God. Hallelujah. It doesn't hinge on, Lord God, how you are today or how you might be tomorrow, God. It's the same today, yesterday, today, and forevermore, God. Hallelujah. Your love will never change for us, God. Hallelujah, God. We want your love won't be like our love, how we change day by day, God. Hallelujah. But your love will remain the same, God. So this morning, God, we thank you for your love. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for your love of your son Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for giving him for us, God, for all our sins, God, that we have committed, that we are committing, and that we will commit, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for the Savior of our world, for our life. Glory to God for eternal life, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For those out there who don't know Jesus, in the time that we're living in right now, God, hallelujah, God, we pray this morning, God, that they wouldn't lose their mind, God, for the world, but they would lose their mind for you, Jesus. That they would do, Lord God, according to your will and your way, God. Hallelujah. That they would leave those sinful ways behind. That they would seek you, Lord God. Hallelujah. That their lives would be changed forevermore, God. Lord, our prayer this morning, God. Hallelujah, God. For children, adults, God. Women, men, God. Wherever, God. Hallelujah. That they will come to the knowledge of knowing you, God. They will come to the knowledge of serving you, Lord God, and living for you, God. Hallelujah, God. We are, uh, you sent your only begotten son, God, that we may have life and have it more abundantly, God. Thank you, Lord God, for doing such a great and mighty thing that we can never live up to, God. We can never pay you back for that, God. But what we can do is we can serve you, Lord God. We can live for you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. For those people that don't have salvation today, God. Let them not die, God, without having it, God. Let them not die, God, without seeking your face, God. Let them not die, God, without knowing that you are a great and mighty God, regardless of the situations they might be living in right now, God. Regardless of the issues of not having any money, God. Regardless of the issues, God, of not having any friends, God. Without the issues, God, of not having anything, God, but they do have you, Lord God. You said you are omnip omnipotent and omniscient. You everywhere and you know everything about each one, every one of us, God. So on this morning, God, everything that weighs down their hearts, God, anything that weighs down our hearts today, God, we ask, God, that you be a burden lift as your word says you are, God. You will lift that burden, God, upon our hearts, God. And Lord God, that you will give us freedom and peace in our hearts and our minds, God. That we will serve you, Lord God. That we will turn away from the world, God, and begin to turn to you, God. That we will surrender, God, everything, God, that has been hurting us for years, God. 
Hallelujah. We will turn away from those things, God. We will surrender to your holy will and your holy way, God. Hallelujah. Forsaking the things of old, God, and calling the things of new, God. Hallelujah, God. For you have made us, Lord God. You say, old things shall pass away and all things become new, God. So on today, God, hallelujah. Souls shall be saved, God, to enter your kingdom on today, God. Hallelujah. To begin to serve you, Lord God, as you have already ordained for us to be serving you, Lord God. You have created us to worship you, Lord God. And we shall worship you in spirit and in truth, God. You are seeking those who will do such. So on today, God, hallelujah, we ask for, Lord God, the initiation of more worshipers who will worship you in spirit and in truth, God, on today, God. Hallelujah, God. That we will not be ashamed to worship you, Lord God. We will not be ashamed of the word of the Lord. We will not be ashamed to call ourselves Christians for you, Lord God. Through all the persecution, through all the taunting and mocking, God, hallelujah, we still shall not be afraid, God. We shall live for you, God. So we shall die to ourselves on today, God. We shall pick up that cross and follow you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, we thank you this morning, God, for the joy for the joy that you give, God. Hallelujah. The unspeakable joy that you fill us with by your Holy Spirit, God. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. Ah, oh, yes, God. We thank you, Lord God, for pouring our hearts out unto you on today, God. Hallelujah. All the issues of our heart, God. Let it flow into your ears today, God. Let it flow into your ears, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. That will free us and empty us out for you, God. So you can fill us up. Hallelujah. And all the filth that's in us, God. All the disgusting things, God, that we have filled our, our bodies with and we filled our mouths with it through eating and, and, and the things that come out of our mouth that defile us, God. We thank you this morning, God, for cleaning us up, God. And making us over, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are the part and we are the clay, God. Hallelujah. This morning, God, mold us. Say, mold us, God, into you want us to be, God. Mold us, God. We need you to mold us on today, God. Mold us and shape us, God. Hallelujah. To glorify you, Lord God. And not to glorify the things that you have allowed to be created for us. Let us not worship idols, God. Hallelujah. But Lord God, we shall worship you because your word says you are a jealous God. And you have created us for you, not for everything else but you. So, Lord God, today we humble ourselves before you, Lord God. We humble ourselves before you, Lord God, so that you may get all the glory. You may get all the praise and you may get all the honor, God, because it all belongs to you. Everything in this world belongs to you, God. Nothing belongs to us, God. So let us not act as if it does, God. Hallelujah. But surrender it all back unto you, God. Give it unto you, the dedicated unto you, Lord God, said that you may bless it even more, God. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, for the excitement in our hearts on this morning, God, for those who know you, God. And for those who don't, Lord God, we ask, God, for excitement in their hearts, God. The joy of the Lord be upon their hearts, God. Hallelujah. Salvation be upon their lives, God, on today. Their souls will be saved, God, and be not lost to hell, God. Hallelujah. But it will be won over to your kingdom, God. And that the angels will rejoice in heaven, God. Huh? The angels will rejoice, God. Hallelujah. For every soul that enters, God, on today. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord God, for the addition of your king to your kingdom on today, God. We are. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For those who are real, God, and seek to continue to be real even more, God, and make more real, God. Oh, we thank you right now in Jesus' name. So, Lord God, as we go forth today, I seal this word, God, that this word will not fall on dry ground, but the Lord, the word that you have spoken on this morning, God, it will fall and it will be planted in fertile soil, God, that will have miracle grow in your word, God, that will grow up and be what you have called it to be and grow up and be who you have called us to be in your word, God. So we thank you right now. And oh, I'm going to say, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So as you go forth today, just remember that God loves you. Regardless of all the bitterness that you've experienced in your life, regardless of all the disappointment that you've experienced in your life, regardless of everything that you think you should have had that you don't have, just remember that God still loves you through all of that. Through all of that. And he wants you back. He wants you back. He wants to wants you to serve him like you've never served him before. He wants you to live for him like you never lived for him before. He wants everything from you. So empty out today for God. Empty out today for the Lord our God. Empty out of all that frustration, all that fear, 
all the bitterness, all, all the anger, everything that is against the word of God, we speak right now that is being hayaboshi, emptied out so that God can fill you up with his spirit, with his gifts, with his love. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you. I hope you were blessed by this. God really was on my heart this morning just, hallelujah, just worshiping him. Knowing that I am right with him. But knowing that there are so many others that are not. And not being selfish to pray for myself, but to pray for others. Today, I encourage you to pray for others. And if you don't know how to pray for others, find somebody that you can pray with that knows how to pray. And have them pray with you. Don't go being selfish in this season. Don't go and be in hoarders of the things of the world, but begin hoarders of the word of God. That God may use you as a vessel to minister to others. My God. Mm. Just meditate on the word of the Lord. You know that we might not be able to go to a physical church, but the church is already in you. And God wants to build his church within you. God wants to build his church within you. God wants to build his church within you. So the question is, have your church start being built yet? And if it's not, it's time to start letting God build his church within you. So that you can be a light to the world because he need more light in this darkness. He need more light in this darkness. Will you be the light that God is calling you to be? Will you be who God has called you to be? Or will you sit back and watch? Instead of doing something about it. Will you sit back and complain. Instead of do something about it. Will you sit back and be a spectator. Instead of taking action. God needs you. God needs more workers in his vineyard right now. This time for harvest y'all. This is time for harvest. Will you harvest. Be a harvester for the Lord. In this season. Will you be a harvester for the Lord in this season. Give him your heart today. Give him your heart. Everything that you feel that you deserve, give that all to God. God knows what you want. God knows what you need. And he will meet that need if you just trust him. Trust God on today. Trust him to do everything for you. Trust him. Ask him for wisdom. He said, any that lacks wisdom, ask God. Allow him to lead you today in the wisdom, making weird, wise decisions. Not hasty decisions, but wise decisions. He sees what's going on, but he also sees that he wants to strengthen your faith. So don't take the challenge as one that, that came to, to, to kill you. It came to strengthen you. So on today, as I close, I just want to thank you for tuning in and just hearing the word of the Lord. For I believe that whoever is supposed to hear this is hearing it. And if you want to share it, that's, that of course, that's how it should be. Share the word of the Lord. We share all these other crazy things. Let us share the things that matter, the things that have power, the words that have power. Come on now. Give it all unto God in Jesus' name. Amen.